everyone, and welcome back to more RPG Maker MC tutorials. Today we are going to go over how to import an image into your games. This is very easy to do as long as you pay attention to the resolution of the images. As long as you keep that in mind, you won't have to worry about aspect ratios messing up the image and having them be warped. For reference, a character image is 384 pixels tall by 576 pixels in width. Every face image is 576 pixels wide by 288 pixels across. It can fit up to 8 faces on a 4x2 grid. Each face is a 144 by 144 pixel square. I've made this image for reference so you can get what this looks like. Each square on this image is a reference on where you can put a face. Like, I could put a face on this yellow square, or this turquoise square, or this green square, and so on. And what we're going to do is practice importing a file, like, like we're going to import this picture here that I've prepared in advance between episodes. The first thing we need to do is make sure we're exporting this picture as a PNG, as this is the only format that RPG Maker MZ recognizes for images. So we click on File on our on our image editor program. I'm using Pixlr for reference because I like Pixlr. This is not sponsored in any means. Go ahead and try it yourself. Link is in the description. So we're going to click Save, and we're going to export as a PNG. Save as. Now the, the location of the file you're saving it to is important too. For this, we're going to go into our game folder, click the image file, and then click on characters. Now we get to name our image something that we'll probably remember for later. So we're gonna type exclamation point portals one. Then click save, and then it should be saved. Now, let's go back into our game and start putting in this new asset. We're gonna close our image editor, and we're going to put this new asset to, to the test. So what we're going to do is create a new event like I showed you. And now for the image, we're going to look for the image that we just imported. For me, it was exclamation point portals. If I could find it, there it is. And we're going to use a certain portal. We're going to use this green portal right here. We're going to turn stepping on for a bit of an animation effect. And we're going to turn this to below character so this can be passed through. Also, we're going to turn on direction fix so it won't change direction while we're going to interact with this event. And also, the next thing we're going to do is turn this into player touch. When the player touches it, it will trigger the event. We'll do this for a save point in a later episode. Click OK to save your event. Now let's play test it and see the stepping animation. See how the portal we just made is now moving on itself? That's an animation being done by the two items on its... There are two icons that are affected by for this animation. Let's look in the game's files and see how this really works. What we're going to do is go back to our game files. Let me show you how to do that right now. Click on tools. No, not that one. There we go. It's in game. Click on open folder. Then it will open the folder of the game in file explorer. What we do is click on image and we click on characters. Let's look at the image in detail. Let's look at portals one in detail. So as you can see here, we have these sprites of this portal. It's going to cycle between this, 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 and then this. It's a cycle that it keeps repeating. Interesting, huh? Now let's close that and go over where each image file is. Battlebacks one and two are for battle backgrounds, which we'll cover in our later battle episode. Characters I just showed you, which are for events, enemies, and SV enemies are for battle enemies in normal view and side view respectively. 
faces are character faces. As we can see here, I showed you what a character face sprite was earlier. And these are sprite sheets where you can use multiple faces in one image. Next is parallaxes. These are backgrounds that occur on certain maps. We'll get into parallaxes in a later episode as well. Next is pictures. As you can see, we have a bunch of random images that we can use for later use in our games. We can display things like notices or maybe character faces and icons. We can do this for later. SV actors are for battles only, and these are our sprites for them. As you can see, they have various animations, which we'll cover in our actors episode. System is our very space system items. We have our shadows, our states, our weapons, and our window. We'll get into those in a later bit. Tile sets, these are all full of tiles that you can use on making maps. And finally, we have our titles folder. These are for the title screen, which we'll get in a title screen episode. And keep in mind, all these images are in PNG format. Make sure you keep note of this, because this is the only format that RPG Maker MZ uses for images. That's all we need to know for importing images. Make sure you now know where you are importing your images for later. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.